He's going to tell us if you're going to need your umbrella or not. Yeah, this is a busy weekend in general. We have the SEC tournament. We have uh, festivities for St. Patrick's Day, both Saturday and Sunday, and all the rain is done just in time for all of it. That's good. Now we are still in a code red weather alert, but that's for tonight. Look at the timeline here. Midnight to 7 a.m. It might wake you up overnight and you're likely driving through it in the morning if you have to head to work or the kids are getting to the buses that aren't on spring break right now. Take a look. Biggest threat's going to be damaging wind. These are not at zero. Tornado and hail are not at zero, but they're a much smaller on the scale. Wind is the one thing that we have to watch out for most carefully overnight. And when I say overnight, we will be here all night for you just in case you need to know something or it does wake you up and you want a little comfort. Taking a look at timing out who gets what when. Now this is going to be a line that moves through for everyone. Timing midnight through around 4 a.m. in our northwestern counties. Timing for hard of middle Tennessee, including Davidson County. 2 a.m. through 6 a.m. and then the Cumberland Plateau 3, 3 a.m. until 7 a.m. Now what I mean by the timing of this is the front line of this storm system is where the severe weather is possible, which we're going to look at. Nothing happening right now. The entire morning and afternoon are great. You're right near 60 degrees right now and you're going to be up near 80 this afternoon. Future track, nothing happening for us this morning into early afternoon. It wants to bubble up a shower along the Tennessee River, but I don't see it really happening. And if you get a raindrop or two, don't worry about it. Now watch the timeline. It's going to confirm what we just showed. Midnight going to around 2 a.m. This is that line that we have to watch. There will still be rain behind it, but it's always that very first push of wind that we have to watch out for most carefully, and it's always going to give you the heaviest rainfall. This is going into 4 a.m. Here is 6 a.m. Then that initial push of the stronger thunderstorm activity moves away from us. We get some lingering showers for the rest of the morning on and off, and those finally die down toward the afternoon. And when the rain leaves, it takes our temperatures with it. 80 degrees today, 70 tomorrow, 60s for the weekend. But for all the events taking place Saturday and Sunday, we have nothing to worry about all day long. No rain in the forecast.